welcome back to my kitchen. So in this video, I really wanted to show you how I make bows to add to my cakes. Now bows can come in all different sizes, so you can make smaller ones to add to your cupcakes, you can add them to birthday cakes, or you can even make larger ones to add to the front of wedding cakes. Bows look so pretty, and today I'm going to show you how I made this one. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so to make the bow, what you're going to need is I've got some gum paste here, a ruler, a craft knife, a rolling pin, I've got some edible glue with a paintbrush, and I've also got some paper towels. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is roll out my gum paste until it's about one millimetre in thickness. Okay, so now we've got our gum paste rolled out. The next thing we want to do is actually work out how big the bow is going to be. Okay, so for my bow, I'm just going to make um, a bow which is about 10 centimetres long and about five centimetres wide. So I'm going to start off by cutting out two pieces. Now we're going to make our bow in two separate halves. So the right hand side and the left hand side. So there we have our left and right hand side of the bow. Now what I'm going to cut out as well is the middle section. Now for the size of bow that I've got, I want this piece to be about one and a half to two centimetres wide, but I'm actually going to cut it out two and a half centimetres wide, just because at this stage we want it slightly wider. Don't worry about the length of the piece because we will be cutting any excess off. And with the excess, what I'm going to do is just cut two strips which we'll use at the end to create kind of tails for our ribbon. Okay so I'm going to put the gum paste that I'm not using, I'm going to wrap that in cling film and for the pieces that we're not using at the moment I'm going to put those in a plastic container just so they don't dry out. So here we have the first side. Now what I'm going to do with this is first of all is flip this over. Now I'm going to take some of my tissue paper and what this is going to do is we just want to scrunch this up into a kind of a soft sausage shape and this is just going to keep the bow in shape and keep the pieces together. So I'm going to lay that over the top of my piece of gum paste and then taking some edible glue I'm just going to put a really thin line of that on one side. Now I'm going to take the other side of the gum paste and just flip that over until the two sides meet. Now what we're actually trying to do is create this kind of diamond shape which you get when you tie a bow to pull it. So I'm going to take each side of the gum paste and just pull those together. Now what you're trying to do is to create movement within this middle section so it looks like you've brought the two pieces of ribbon together and that's just going to make it look really realistic. Now with this extra bit we're just going to pull that into a point which we'll use to attach to the other side. Now there's two different ways to leave the bows to dry. The first one is if you're going to have the bow flat um, and you're going to secure it really well on your cake then you can leave it just to dry it on a flat surface. Now if you're going to have your bow on the top of your cake or on the top of your board and you may need to be able to see it from both sides. So what you can do is pull your tissue paper to one side and actually stand it up. Flare the bottom out slightly just so it stands up on its own. And this is gonna allow you to apply it to the cake a lot easier. Now, what you wanna do with this middle section is maybe pull it down slightly, which will mean that the middle side of the bow is actually resting on the table when you make it. Um, but for this video, I'm gonna dry it flat. So I'm just gonna leave that one like that and put that to one side. Now we're going to get the other side and we're going to do exactly the same. Now we've got our two sides here. Now what we want is the two extra bits of gum paste that we've just pulled out are going to go together. So we're going to use a bit of edible glue, pop those on and just mould those slightly 
so they stick. And taking the middle piece, I'm just gonna flip that over and then on the edges, I'm just gonna lightly pull those around. So as you can see, we're softening up this side here and I'm gonna do that to the other side. But what I wanna do is create some movement so it looks like the material has got some kind of tucks in there. So I'm just gonna pull it back on itself and then pull it back out again. So I'm creating this kind of wave, if you can see. So I'm gonna bring my bow back in and as you can see, that will then just sit in the center. Flip that over to start with and put some edible glue at the bottom. I'm then gonna very carefully pick the two pieces of bow up and place those on there. I'm then gonna run some edible glue up there so that it sticks and just pull that over that center piece. I'm gonna flip the whole thing over and at this stage, everything is still quite soft. You can kind of move everything to where you want. So what we're gonna do is just bring that center piece around, work out how much we need and just trim that off. And then using some edible glue and just a little bit of pressure, we're just gonna pull those around so they meet. And then very carefully again, we're gonna flip that over. Then we have our bow shape. Now, if you were doing it at the top of the cake and you were drying it so it was standing up on its own, you can put the join of the middle section on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is just leave this to one side so that it dries. And I'm gonna take the last two strips that we made. Okay, so these bits are actually gonna be the tails of the bow coming down. So I'm gonna cut the top corner off of the first one, which will then put those together and just straighten that off. Now on each of them, I'm gonna cut a triangle out of the bottom, just so it looks a bit more like ribbon and make sure that the other one is the same length. There we have our two tails. Now they look a bit flat at the moment and don't really look very realistic. So what I'm gonna do is just create some movement in them. So just curl the corners up, put some slight bumps in those. And before they dry, you just wanna make sure that it's looking how you want. Okay, so I've actually left the gum paste bow overnight. So as you can see, it's gone completely solid and it's all completely stuck together. Now it's completely safe to take out these tissue paper bits. So there we have our gum paste bow. So we've also got our ribbon parts here and they've set solid. So all three pieces can now be securely placed on your cake. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video tutorial. If you did, then please give it a like. And if you'd like to see more of my video tutorials, then please click subscribe. And don't forget, you can also check out the Cakes by Lynn's Facebook and Instagram pages.